Hi. So we have one more solved example based on geometrical progression. This is slightly, very slightly tricky problem. Why? Because here we have a pattern in which a term in between is negative. 81 is positive, then we have minus 27 and then we have 9. And we have to find the 8th and the 12th term of the series. Right? So how do we do it? Okay, let's first check whether it is a geometrical progression or not. So if it is a geometrical progression, the ratio of two consecutive terms will be same or constant, right? So let me first do T2 divided by T1. It will be minus 27 divided by 81, right? 9 3s are 27 and this will be negative and 9 9s are 81 and it can be solved further. It will be 3 1s are 3 and 3 3s are 9 and this will be negative, right? This one will be negative. So T2 divided by T1 we are getting as minus 1 by 3, right? And if I do T3 divided by T2, this will be equal to 9 divided by minus 27. 9 ones are 9, 9 threes are 27. And if any one of the term is negative in multiplication or division, the whole result will be negative. So this will also be minus 1 by 3, right? So we are getting a common factor, which is minus 1 by 3. And here we have got a first term as 81, right? So we have got A, which we call as first term, it is 81. And common factor R, this is equal to minus 1 by 3, right? So these are the basic parameters of this pattern. And what we have to find? We have to find 8th and 12th term. So let me place these parameters at safe place. So cut and paste. So these are the parameters. And what is the formula for the last term or the nth term? Last term or Tn is actually written as A multiplied by R to the power N minus 1, right? So if we have to find the 8th term, it will be A multiplied by R to the power N minus 1, that is 7, right? So if I substitute the values of A and R in this, it will be a is 81 and R is minus 1 by 3 to the power 7, right? And how do we write this 81? 81 can be written as 3 to the power 4, isn't it? 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and 9 nines are 81. So 81 is actually 3 to the power 4. And this minus 1 by 3 to the power 7 can be written as minus 1 by 3 to the power 7 or 1 to the power 7 divided by 3 to the power 7. And why I have removed this minus sign? Because when you have an odd number as the power of a negative term, the result will always be negative, right? So this can be written as minus 1 to the power 7 and 3 to the power 7. 1 to the power 7 will give you 1 only, so need not to write this 7. So minus 1 by 3 whole to the power 7 can be written as minus 1 by 3 to the power 7, right? So the result will be minus 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 7. And this will be equal to minus 1 by 3 to the power 3. This can be written as minus 1 by 3 3 is a 9 and 9 3 is a 27. Minus 1 by 27 is the eighth term, right? So what we have got? We have got our T8 or the 8th term and it is minus 1 by 27, right? So we have found our 8th term which is minus 1 by 27. So let me remove all these calculations to find our 12th term. So our 12th term will be T12 and it will be A multiplied by R to the power n minus 1 and n is 12 over here so it will be r to the power 11 right now let's substitute the value of a as 81 and r as minus 1 by 3 so it will become 81 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 to the power 11 
right? 81, as we have seen, can be written as 3 to the power 4 and minus 1 by 3 to the power 11 can be written as minus 1 by 3 to the power 11. Why? Because if we have an odd number as the power of a negative number, then the result will always be negative, right? So that's why this will be negative, okay? So the total result over here will be negative and this further can be written as 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 11 and this will be minus 1 by 3 to the power 11 minus 4, right? or it can be written as minus 1 by 3 to the power 7. So if we simplify it further, t12 will be equal to minus 1 by 3 to the power 7 and 3 to the power 7 is 3 to the power 4 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 and it will be minus 1 by whole this and 3 to the power 4 is 81 and 3 to the power 3 is 27 so it will be equal to minus 1 by 81 multiplied by 27 and this is equal to minus 1 by 2187 so we have got our 12th term also and that is minus 1 by 2187 so if I make some place over here 12th term we got as minus 1 by 2187. These were the two terms which we were supposed to find for this pattern. After this we are going to learn about geometrical means and how to insert geometrical means between any two given numbers. So bye bye till then.